Hello, good morning. Uh, today will be a small speech about archaeological site, early Neolithic site called Ohoden. It's localized at northwest Bulgaria, very interesting. Uh, I visited this place during uh, survey uh, and during uh, field works concerning outcrops of flints. Uh, we were invited by the organizer of the uh, expedition of the uh, archaeological works and uh, it's at place Ohoden. This is fragment of map of northwest Bulgaria. Ohoden is uh, near bigger city Gabare and uh, is localized on the river on the banks of, of the river Skit. Skit. The chief of the expedition is uh, Dr. Gregory. He invited us very nice man and he show us sight and various finds and uh, explain what they are doing, how they are working and what they discovered. It's, uh, so it's a uh, field uh, road to the, to the uh, center of expedition and our group is going to visit place. Dr. Gregory, the head of the expedition, very sympathetic man. And he took us to the uh, trenches where excavation is going and he showed us archaeological layers. Uh, the data are more or less probably uh, 6,500 years and still uh, he uh, uh, wait for the datation and uh, there are places um, connected with the settlement and places connected with tombs, this small cemetery and as you see this archaeological layer uh, 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 consists of many broken pieces of, of ceramic vessels, there are bones, etc. And we uh, look uh, to various uh, trenches. Situation uh, for <laughs> geologists as I, uh, as I am uh, is very similar. Fragments of uh, ceramic vessels and uh, flint uh, Flint uh, implements, various. So we discuss uh, details, and I decide to uh, take pieces of pottery and fragments of bones and uh, make a preliminary mineralogical investi investigation. It's the investigation of pottery as well investigation of old bones. And there is description of method used for determination of the pottery. I will not read because you may read yourself and slowly uh, see what we are doing with pottery and how the, the examination is made together with uh, determination, mineralogical determination of mineral composition and grain size composition. Uh, data are used in computer program pottery, very useful for determination of similarities between potteries, between various pieces of pottery, as well as between pottery and uh, raw materials, local raw materials. It's, and this examination was done for Ohoden and pottery. There are macroscopic pictures of small fragments of, 
of vessels. Uh, it's a piece uh, of internal, external uh, wall of vessel, internal, covered with red clay for uh, for preservation against migration of water. It's the method and. Uh, results of mineralogical examination. There are macroscopic data uh, according to, to program pottery. Not decorated temperature of firing more or less about 750 degrees very well uh, burned, very well uh, fired. And clay mass, mostly uh, clay minerals and uh, it uh, was used local terra rossa, composed mostly of uh, kaolinite. Terra rossa is a secondary sediment developed due to, on, on, the, on limestones, developed to weathering of limestones. And inside it's composed, this clay is composed, terra rossa is composed of poorly crystalline kaolinite, very good for preparation of pottery. And there are small admixtures of quartz, feldspars, and fragments of sedimentary rocks, mostly fragments of limestones, and, and traces of carbonates, secondary, and uh, fragments of charcoal and other uh, rare components. The composition, grain size composition is uh, typical and uh, most of grains belongs to the uh, to the size between 60 micrometers and about uh, one millimeter. Mat material is not very well uh, prepared for the for the uh, preparation of pottery and this is second piece of pottery external wall and internal wall painted with the covered with the clay red clay and mineral composition slightly similar uh, there is uh, slightly more clay minerals, but other components are in similar proportion. Uh, fragments of sedimentary rocks, again, are, are fragments of limestones. So this means that it's confirmed that pottery was done using local, local material. And bones, most probably of animals, uh, are not well preserved. You see, it was uh, found by by archaeologists. Fragments of cones, mostly mostly uh, damaged, covered with red clays because all is in terra rossa. Uh, and microscopic pictures. There is description, but I will explain you microscopic picture using polarizing light microscopy look like this. There is a cortex bone and you see uh, fissures, uh, fissures smaller, bigger, filled up with clay migrating into uh, the structure of, of bone into uh, between fibers, fibers of collagen. And this clay is uh, localized, is, is migrating into the structure of, of the bone and making uh, mechanical destruction because clays, uh, there is mostly kaolinite, but there is a mixture of uh, smectite. It's, it's swelling uh, if it's water and uh, the, the forces of swelling may destroy structure of the of the bones. 
when we use slightly bigger uh, image enlarged this uh, pictures are slightly more enlarged uh, if I remember it's about 200 times there is well seen uh, collagen uh, there are seen well collagen fibers and there are cells after uh, there are small holes after cells, bone cells uh, and uh, if you see this red color is due to presence of of uh, secondary presence of clays, terra rosa containing uh, iron oxides. At some places bone, bone is, bones, is, bones are better preserved. You see a primary uh, small uh, concentrations of uh, of uh, collagen fibers it look like this but if we enlarge again up to about 400 times we may see that migration of uh, surrounding clays into the structure of the bone is going not only along the fibers but is going uh, using uh, very small uh, fractures uh, perpendicular to the uh, orientation of collagen. At some places in structure of uh, bones are localized secondary minerals. It's mostly quartz, clay minerals, not kaolinite but other, uh, sericite, or very fine uh, muscovite and iron oxides uh, get it and, and uh, lepidocrocket. So, in conclusion, one can say that our examination results are given to Dr. Gregory. Uh, results are very preliminary, there is only test of uh, possibilities of examination of this neolithic site and we know that most of the pieces of pottery vessels were produced on place locally and about destruction of, uh, of uh, bones we, one can say that its uh, destruction is mostly because of a penetration of clay and other minerals into the structure of of bones uh, and crystallization between collagen and fibers. I suppose we will continue collaboration. Results are sent to Bulgaria to Dr. Gregory and uh, using occasion I like thank thank very much him for invitation and for explanation and beginning of, of scientific collaboration. And we just thank you very much for listening and I invite you for next meeting and for next small lecture. Thank you very much and have a good, good day.